हेलो फ्रेंड माय सेल्फ संजय मठ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू ड्रॉ द अर्थोपिक प्रोजेक्शंस द आउटकम द लर्निंग आउटकम फॉर दिस टॉपिक इज स्टूडेंट विल एबल टू ड्रॉ अर्थोपिक प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ अ सिंपल ऑब्जेक्ट नो आई एम टेकिंग एज ए सिंपल ऑब्जेक्ट हियर i'm showing the arrow x in the direction of arrow x you have to draw the front view when you have to draw the front view when you have to draw the top view when you have to draw the side view you have to calculate the measurements maximum dimensions are there and second thing that line or a plane which is a parallel to you you have to draw as it is or a true shape true length is to be there so when you have to draw in the direction when you have to draw the front view in the direction of x you have to calculate the maximum dimension it's my 3.25 so i am drawing the 3.25 here then the gap is there because it is a guideway a sliding guideway is there that guiding guideway is how much it is total length is 3.25 and this gap is 2.25 means 1 mm uh, 10 mm gap is there 5 mm from left and 5 mm from right side so 5 mm from the left side and 5 mm from the right side i am drawing it then the vertical height is given total height is 2.23 and the vertical height is given as 0.88 so i am drawing the 0.88 in the point 88 then the socket is there how much the socket total uh, socket is given as 2 mm so and this total where it starts or where it ends that gap is 1.5 from the center line so from that center line you have to draw both the edges and vertical height is 0.2 mm and 0.2 mm i am extending and join with the both ends the socket okay then then vertical this slab is there how much maximum dimensions is already is given so extend that line complete the projections now how to draw this guideway is there the guideway angle is given as 20 degree here 20 degree and here 20 degree and the center line this edge this gap is 2.25 means from that center line you have to travel uh, divide by 2 travel half on left and half on the right side that is 2.25 means 1.125 and uh, how much gap is there it is given as here 0.25 so vertically you have to travel this 0.25 and Point five and three point five. That is seven. Hmm. And join this line twenty degree. Okay. So this portion needs to be completed. Which portion you have to complete it? In this direction of arrow X, which planes are parallel? Means I am shaded. This red color shaded is to be there. It is to be. You have to draw as it is because it is parallel to front view. Now. one more the topic remaining here one more lines are there think over that this hidden lines means this square hole is to be there for this slab for this block there is a square hole in the front view in the direction of x it is hidden one it is invisible one so how to draw it think over that so if it is invisible one you have to draw it is what is the uh, concept when that any line or a plane or edge when it is invisible one you have to draw with a dotted one then where where on this vertical uh, upper portion is to be there that is to be dotted one so when you have to go for the front view draw this dotted line so this point is exactly behind of this one and this point is exactly behind of this one so how much this gap is there it is given as it is given square symbol Or square hole 0.75 center on 1.25 and 1.22 and 1.22. So take a center of this one, that is 1.12. Is 0.6. Draw the center line from vertically 2 mm and horizontally 2 mm. So draw this object. 
that is a dotted one because it is invisible one so invisible portion is you have to show with the dotted one So this is all about the front view. So when you know the front view, then you go for a top view. When you have to see from the top view in this direction, this portion is to be there. Already length is to be here to uh, given here from the top view. This length is there. Hmm? And this width, how much this width? 1.22. So first for that, we have to draw some center line for that. Means it is easy or convenient for that to draw the other views are there. Other lines are there. So for that, you have to draw center line. When you have to draw the front view, when you have to draw the side view, you have to draw the center line. It is given as 1.22. So travel yeah. when you have to see from the top view, this portion is to be there. Which one? The shaded one. Which is parallel. You have to draw as it is because it is a parallel. Now, this portion is to be over. Now again, again, think over that. Again, some part is invisible one. Which part is invisible? This guide way, two edges are there. This one edge and this edge, this edge and this edge. It is invisible. Where it is in the top view, in the front view, you have to already do it. And where that uh, guide view, from start to end one. But when you see from the top view, it is invisible one. So that invisible portions you have to draw shown by dotted line. Invisible portions uh, you have to show by dotted lines. This over. So what about the square hole? Again, same for this one. Again, the square hole is invisible from the top end. So take that how much distance and it is shown by a dotted one. From where? From start to end one. How much that width is to be there? It is given as 0.75 with 1.22 on both sides we have to travel that much distance two, two. One, two. and draw it is dotted one because when you have to see from the top view this square hole is invisible one so invisible portions we have to draw with a dotted one for this square because this portion is exactly behind of this one this corner is exactly behind of this one so only two edges you have to invisible there are four line uh, corners are there but these two corners this base one they have to be exactly behind of that so that's why you have to draw with a dotted one so this is the front view and this is a top view okay the orthopic projection from the given isometric view and you yourself from this front view, from this top view, you have to draw the what you call side view. For the side view again, you have to rotate this thing. Projections are there, 45 degree line, and draw the side view. 